Welcome back to Booster Therapy, your cure for that pack. Crack an addiction. We have another box of Commander Legends where we hope to find the Mana Drains, the Jeweled Lotuses, the, oh, I don't know, Vampiric Tutors, Hull Breacher, Opposition Agents, all that fun stuff. So let's get this box cracked on open and see what we can find. Now this is a sponsored box by one of our patrons of the channel. This is for Colton of Grim Entertainment. I started up a YouTube channel there, so I definitely want to shout out any and all of our patrons who have YouTube channels. Um, just celebrated a birthday as well on December the 1st, so happy birthday to Colton. And uh, like I said, he's just kicking things off over there, so see if you can help him out. Check it out, it's just Grim Entertainment. Uh, with two M's, I'll put it up on the screen here. Go ahead and check it out, see if you can get him to uh, to 100 subs to celebrate December and his birthday month. So, thank you once again, and uh, good luck. All right, we're gonna start out with a command tower. It's great to get those. Make a stand. And a chrome as well, nice. And one of my favorite cards. Ooh, beautiful foil. Put you right up here. And a Monarch token. Yeah, how's everyone doing today? Hope you're having yourself a fantastic day. Uh, if you haven't checked it out, make sure you look at Brett's uh, 31 Days of Christmas video that he did with an amazing deck tech giveaway. It's fantastic. Make sure you check that out. And Immaculate Magistrate. Ooh, nice. Thorn of the Black Rose Foil. Beautiful. I am due for a Mana Drain. I've hit a couple of Jeweled Lotuses lately, which I'll be very happy to have again, but I would love to see the Mana Drain. Ooh, another Command Tower. Weird. Nice. There we go. The lands. The elusive lands. We have a Spectator Seating. And a Belby Corrupted Observer with a foil Moss Diamond. No Mythics yet, but don't worry, they'll come. Just like all these sweet lands, they'll come popping in. Visser Seers, again, always nice to see. Strength of the Pack. Into Magus of the Order. Again, Arcanum Weaver, and Welding Sparks. Yeah, we're kind of a little bit in December here, continuing our way through, and hoping that uh, everyone's staying nice and safe out there now that Thanksgiving's done. You're probably suspecting there might be some upticks going on with our friend COVID, but hopefully we can get that under control. Court of Cunning. Ooh, beautiful etched foil here. That looks sweet. Yeah, like I said, hopefully we can get that nice and under control and reasonable and all that fun stuff. So, again, just make sure you stay safe out there. Whatever you're doing, no matter how you are interacting. Another Viscerous here, man. Really been popping in. Defector into nice rings of bright hearth. This is a great hit. And another foil in the back. Yeah, rings of bright hearth is I think in that seven to ten dollar range. It used to be very expensive prior to this uh, reprint, but it is a really fun preordain and fantastic card. And we got the Raksh. Raksh. For mud. Any bonus mythics or anything back here? Nope. Still looking for that first mythic. And again, I'll take all of those uh, Battle Bond lands. I'm always happy to see those. And if you didn't see yesterday's video, got a monster hit in that the foil uh, mythic. So check that one out as well. 
Plot of the Strong, and Armored Sky Hunter. It's another solid card out of this set. Averna, the Chaos Bloom. Ooh! And a Foil Mythic Triumphant Reckoning. For just a measly nine mana, return all artifact, enchantment, and planeswalker cards from your graveyard to the battlefield. Well, there is your first mythic, and it is a foil mythic. That is sweet. Very cool. Anytime you can get a foil mythic, regardless of the card, that is very, very cool. Ooh, three visits. That's a good hit. And Court of Ire. Give yourself the Monarch. And the old turtle, always popping in. And they line you up with three straight. Kulfiner, the last you. And a foil. All right, Mana Drain. Show yourself. Show yourself. All right, we're going to get it right here. Victimize. Oh, nope. It's the Ember Wild Captain. And Olivia Oatsworn Sentinel. And a treasure token in the back. Yeah, if you get, assuming you get these for the right price, around the, you know, $100, probably on the cheap end, up to $120, um, I definitely think they're worth it. Just fantastic value. Necrotic Hex. And Flood of Recollection. We'll start seeing some more Mythics, our Opposition Agents, and Hull Breachers. I would love to start seeing those right now. Just make a man feel good. Burnished Heart, Cast Down. And the Bio Waste Blob. Lathiel, I feel like that always comes popping in. It is another mythic, though. Sphinx of the Second Sun. Very nice. Shoot right over there. And a ghastly demise in our foil slot. Elvish Dreadlord. And Belborka with a murder. And the rock. Hidden away in the back. R.I.P. Sean Connery. R.I.P. buddy. Take another three visits as well. Perius Perfect. Ooh, another mythic. Phyrexian Triniform. Let's make a little room. Let's go on a mythic run. I'll be glad to do it. Oh, that is sweet. An etched Prosh Sky Raider of Kerr. Oh, that is really sweet, man. I have absolutely no idea what this goes for. I know it used to be quite expensive because it was the only foil version. Um, but holy crap. That is beautiful. Big Daddy Prosh. Yeah, I've seen Brett do some work with that as his commander. Very, very mean card. A lot of uh, infinite combos you can do with that card. And Sakashima's Will with an Aramith. What does he do here? Whenever another permanent is benefit in your control, look at the top cards of your library. If it shares a card type with a permanent in control, reveal that card and put it in your hand. Oh, okay. Amareth, you dirty dog. Ooh, how about a foil command tower? Beautiful. You've been hitting some interesting cards here so far. It's kind of a wild opening. Is 
Sakashima's protege. We're going to see if old Sakashima wants to show up. Sears Lantern. And The Rock. Just getting our other cards off camera out of the way. Command Beacon. Nice. Good hit. And nothing else in there. We're getting down there. I think we're at about six or so packs left. Again, love to see some more lands. Hull Breacher, Opposition Agent, and then the uh, the big three mythics. Let's see if we can hit them. Court of Ambition. I do love those Monarch cards. Your Lock. And Ancient Animus. Yep, getting down there. Again, just a reminder to check out Grim Entertainment. Like I said, share some love. I mean, it was his birthday the other day. Share some love. And Nevin Rill's disc. Dragon token in the back. We're getting down there, Colton. We'd love to see a, another couple of big hits. Blade Griff prototype. Ooh, there we go. Kamal Heart of Krosa for another mythic, up to five mythics. And a foil burnished heart. All right, what do we got left here? One, two, three. Three packs. All right, let's see what we can get. Let's see how we do in the close. Coercive Recruiter. And a Foil Viscerous here. Man, you've hit about 10,000 Viscerous here at this point. <laughs> You're setting some kind of a record. I know just what you want out of a Commander's Legends box. How many Viscerous here can I get? Another Command Tower. Take those all day long. And Arcane Signets, that's your first of that. And another Mythic, Reshape the Earth. Wow, up to six Mythics. And Blim, Comedic Genius, with a foil, Fates, Fetters. All right, on to your last pack. Come on, baby. Missing some of those high-end ones, unfortunately, here. Austere Command. And finish it up with the Charcoal Diamond. Well, there you have it. Um, you'll see the total there running across. Thank you once again to all of our patrons and all of you out there supporting us. And particularly, again, to Colton with Grim Entertainment. We do appreciate it. That's all we have for now. So until next time, this has been Patrick with Booster Therapy.